Boom. Oops. I thought my car was in drive and it's still in park. Man, it's a hot one. Like seven inches from the midday sun. Anybody get that reference? Good for you. Um, so this is it. The last video before my vacation. And before what I perceive to be the new wave of videos. I keep hyping myself up saying that there will be a revolution of videos for me this month. That there will be a new wave of videos for me this month. But um, obviously that has yet to come to its fullest of fruition as I am still doing my regular stuff this month. But um, yeah, I am excited for hopefully starting a new chapter in YouTube and hopefully starting a better, more fulfilling chapter on YouTube. And only time will tell if that is in fact what I am doing and where I'm standing. <sighs> better yet, depending on how I decide to do this, you may not see the new wave of videos until sometime after um, May. Because right now, all of the videos that I have posted, that's the other thing is I try, I intend to catch up on posting. I intend to post everything that I've got and figure out from there where I stand and what needs to go where. And then once I'm caught up, I intend to, uh, I intend to revamp the video style and get us somewhere or something better. And then once all that's established, we'll see how it rides from there. But like it could, I, if it works out the way that I want it to, it would mean the end of these videos as, as they have existed right now. And I don't have a clear picture of what my daily videos would look like at that point. Um, obviously, driving to and from work is the best time for me to be doing these sorts of things. And so um, it would definitely be beneficial for me to continue doing this just for the sake of keeping up my schedule and my, um, my track record. But hopefully I can master a, a way of doing this that is different enough and feels different enough from what I've been doing that it, it does hit a better audience and a bigger audience and we can just keep expanding from there. I've already seen, excuse me, I've already seen a decent level of expansion um, since having embarked on this journey and started this journey in that I have videos hitting 40 to 100 uh, views now and before I was lucky to get 10 and obviously in the grand scheme of things 40 to 100 is still pretty minuscule but it is progress against where I have been and then if I can kind of get a better focus and get my lens where it needs to be and find topics and maybe refine and, and do more um, conceptualized essay videos. I was doing a decent amount of those before and I wasn't seeing a whole lot of success with those. But maybe if I am able to um, perfect the perfect the balance because if nothing else, like, I think that's what I'll get out of the new wave of videos is a better variety because these videos, however, they're easy to film, easy to edit, and great for me to just throw stuff up there, they feel like they lose their, they lose their way very often because they are very much so unplanned. <sighs> and 
most of the time, I am just sending stuff out there and saying what's on my mind. And it's not always a productive conversation or an interesting story to tell. And I think that there is much to be said about that. When I watch um, Dry Creek Wrangler School, a lot of what he's doing is telling stories. And they're life stories that most everyone can appeal to. And it's from an interesting perspective of what is believed to be a credible human being. And so it's like, do I want to lean more into life stories? Do I want to lean more into this business thing that I have going on? Do I continue to balance them both and just say, hey, if you're subscribing to my channel, this is the kind of stuff you're going to see? I don't know. But I'm hoping, if nothing else, I will have a better concentration of videos, concepts, and topics flowing through me as I explore the, uh, the new format of these videos. And as I get ideas, I am hopefully able to maintain that as well. Because historically speaking, I have always been able to do very good in the month of May when I'm off and have all this time to myself. But then as soon as May goes away, I fall on the same trap of old habits that I've always fallen for. And worse yet is I will set unreasonable expectations for myself that month. As in, I will be like, okay, here is 20 things that you need to get done in 10 days. And I'm like, oh, that's, you know, two things a day. That's not so bad. Well, with those two things, take up a lion's share of your time, it becomes bad. And then I feel like a dreadful human being by the end of my vacation because I was supposed to set out and do all these things and I didn't set out and do any of these things. And it's just a dreadful, no good um, place to be in. Tomorrow is Wednesday, the 1st of May, and I, that is my first day off, and it's also my birthday, so I won't be doing anything productive tomorrow. But as soon as tomorrow's over, like, lazy London gets turned off, and super getting stuff done gets turned on. And that is the goal that I intend to pursue here. And so hopefully I will have a good, lazy, fun day tomorrow. Hopefully I will wake up refreshed and ready to start doing stuff on Thursday, and then Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. And it will just all kind of fall into place and feel really good. And we'll just see. Because I probably, I think I do have like 12 tasks on my list of things to do. And I am a bit of a taskmaster. I don't, I don't necessarily know what that phrase refers to. I think it means that you're someone who is good at delegating tasks. And if that's the case, then I don't know that that's the right word for it. I'm good at delegating tasks to myself and getting tasks done when I have the time in which I need to do them. But as far as um, anything else or getting like major product project progress done on things that need to get done, like when I'm at work, that's eight hours of my day that I'm not having. And that's like another thing that's nice for me to look at and to see is that like when I am at work, I have eight hours of my day, it's just gone, poof, not there. But when I am home, I am so productive during those eight hours. Now granted, I am productive during the eight hours in which I work at work. I'm very productive. And that's part of the reason why I'm so pooped by the time I get off and I don't get anything done. Because I'm pooped and I'm tired and I just don't want to do anything. So, at any rate, we will just have to see what this, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Ugh, I lost track of days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's like nine days, we'll see how these nine days treat me, 
and I'm, I've am i got pretty high hopes that they will treat me pretty darn well, and that is going to feel good. That is going to feel real good, and we are going to enjoy every darn minute of it. I've got stuff going on certain days, I've got nothing going on other days, and between the stuff and the nothing, I'm going to have a grand old time. I've got plenty of projects and things to do, as I've already said, and I'm just really excited for this new wave of videos, hoping that you guys like them as well, hoping beyond anything else that I can actually maintain the new wave of videos, and it's not just like, oh, I maintained that for the month of May, and I gave up on it because it was too hard. So, hopefully, cross our fingers that not only am I able to do that, I'm able to maintain, and we can just continue to strive and do great, wonderful things. I'm thinking that um, my audio channel will go live sometime in May. I'm hoping that my um, that the next episode of Compression Man will come out Memorial Day weekend, and um, just really, really hoping that I can get some good stuff going there. And that's just what we have to do. We have to keep on keeping on, keep on pushing, keep on working towards the things that we want and hoping that eventually those things become a reality. I will buckle down on my um, advertising campaign for the book. It has led to three sales so far, which is nice. Hopefully we can amp that up a bit because I'm still spending more than I'm gaining, if that makes any sense. So hopefully we can start to at least break even. That would feel pretty good. Like if I spent 300 bucks but I made 300 bucks, I would be less mad. But I'm spending 300 bucks and I'm making 30, and I'm like, ugh, this is not good. And it's a rough go at things. Maybe it just takes time for me to pick up the proper steam and get where I need to be going. But, like, it feels good to know that just from advertising alone, I was able to nab three sales. And that feels pretty good. And I was using this guy's strategy because it made sense to me. And honestly, he has... Uh, he told me that it pretty much only works for non-fiction books. He's like, yeah, my ad strategy is only good for non-fiction. I don't know what to do about fiction. And I was like, well, I'm using your ad strategy for fiction, and it's gotten me somewhere, which is better than nowhere. And so we'll just keep climbing until we reach the top. And I'm going to add another book to this um, rotation going to start building up its uh, reviews and getting people to notice it. I'm going to start um, advertising for it. And we're just going to keep on keeping on until hopefully the world takes notice. The right person buys the book, tells the right person to tell the right person to get the right person to start reading it. And then it just grows on its own. And I watched this video about passive income and people are like, there's no such thing as passive income. And to a degree, yes. Like, I had to do work in order to publish these books. But, like, if in a couple years from now they were to blow up and become the next biggest thing on the Internet, I would consider that to be passive income because the work has already been done for that book. It's just sitting on a marketplace now selling copies. And I don't have to do anything necessarily to sell it. Like, I have ad campaigns running, sure, but I'm not, um, I'm not having to, uh, actively work on it. Like, I've set up my campaigns, I might, right now I'm changing them <clears throat> monthly or so, and that's it. Like, I set up a campaign, I change it monthly, I spend a bunch of money, and I get what I need. And that's the other thing, the one campaign that I have gotten the most sales from is not the most expensive campaign. So it's like, I am really setting up to be good. Like, I could probably dump these other two campaigns and then 
just go with the campaign that has been successful and spend less money and hopefully make a decent amount as well. And that will feel pretty good. So yeah, I will definitely be attacking the whole advertising thing way harder this time around. And now that I have an idea of what is succeeding, I can just go that route and just be like, all right, I know this works. This is what I'm going to do. And hopefully we get it all sorted, figured out, all that good stuff. And we, uh, yeah, we will just continue to work and to succeed and to do good things and to do better. And it's really all I've got. I've ordered a whole bunch of stuff online. I don't know when any of it's set to come in and it'll just sprinkle its way in throughout the week as my little personal birthday presents and I'll continue buying stuff online and it'll just be all month long celebrating me and it'll feel great. And I'm very thirsty right now, probably from all this talking. But I am going to, I'm almost where I need to be and I am going to log off for one last time and hopefully the next time you guys see me will be under some drastically different measurement and I won't be just going back to filming videos on the way to and from work. Like I said, I don't foresee this format ever going away entirely. I just foresee it um, lessening how often I do it. Oh, and I remembered that I had a bunch of ants in my mailbox. This happens every time it rains and I um, sprayed them, but I didn't actually clean my mailbox out, so if there's something in my mailbox today, it's probably gross. Let's go see. Well, the good news is there's nothing in my um, in my mailbox. The bad news is there's still a bunch of ants in there, dead. But I need to wash out my mailbox. Anyway, thank you all for your time, and I will see you on the next one. And I'm excited.